today I'm here to do Real Housewives of Atlanta season six episode ten. Um, I don't have no notes, so this shit might be all over the place because as I was doing my notes, my shit wasn't saving, so I was getting kind of upset. So I was just like, "Fuck it, I'm a freestyler today." Um, what do I remember from the beginning? Kenya met up with um Miss Lawrence, and they had a little lunch, and they talked about. What happened in Savannah, she brings up, you know, her trying to apologize to Phaedra or whatever. And she feel like Phaedra's never going to own up to shit. Uh, it kind of, she started off with telling him about the stuff with Monique and how Chuck didn't tell them the whole story or whatever. And how Chuck, uh, Phaedra was saying how he, she messed with Chuck or whatever. And that's when it brought, she brought up kind of like that Phaedra is fake. And she wasn't telling the whole story um, and all this kind of stuff. And how she tried to apologize to Phaedra. And Phaedra really wasn't trying to hear her bullshit. You know, I remember Phaedra pulled out the breast pump on her ass. And I was like, that was a sign of, that she was over it. But, um, yeah, they had that little lunch. He was kind of shading um, Kenya and Phaedra. And I was just like over that conversation because I was just like, he always trying to get his five minutes of fame of trying to shade some fucking body. That's why I don't like Miss Lawrence. Um, she, I, I was did laugh when he was, um, she asked, did he fuck Chuck? And he was like, no, not that Chuck. But I guess he heard of Chuck. Everybody heard of Chuck. And we'll know why as this episode went out. So, um, what else? Cynthia goes shopping with her sister, Mal, or Mallory, whatever her name is. Um, she goes shopping with her. They go to like some kind of beaded store and Mel's telling her how she's going to stay with them for two months. And I was sitting there like, with who? Because I'm like, last thing I knew, Peter don't like you and you don't like Peter. So why would you just come up and spring some shit like that? But Cynthia don't have no fucking backbone. So she lets her sister stay. She kind of apologized for the bullshit that happened at the anniversary party. But I'm sitting there like, she would not be staying in my house. No, she don't have no good intentions. She don't like my husband. Why would she want to stay there? Not alone one weekend, but fucking two months. Hell to the gnaw. Peter, uh uh. I didn't even see Peter going for that shit. And I was sitting there like, Cynthia, please get some backbone. This is some bullshit. Um. Anyway, after that, because I, I, I don't like Mel. It's something fishy and sneaky about her. So I don't like her. Um. Mama Joyce and Candy meet up at Miss um, Derek J's salon because she getting her hair, her wig done. Because I was sitting there like, what is he doing? I, 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 I don't get it. I didn't see the transformation, so I didn't get it, whatever. So, um, Candy walks in and she kind of brings up Savannah. She was trying to talk to both of them and she asked her mama something. You could tell her mama had a little funky, stank-ass attitude. So, Derek J kind of got it. So, he was like, okay, let me go in the back so I can let y'all talk. So, they talking, and, you know, her mama was just still on some bullshit. Um, she was talking about how she went to the doctor. She can't be stressing over Candy. She just brought that shit up so Candy couldn't kind of feel bad for her, but the shit didn't work. Because um, even, you know, Candy was like, okay, if you overtired and you're not going to be dealing with our relationship, why the fuck is you bringing this shit up? So... I was over Mama Joyce. I'm always going to be over Mama Joyce. Even the article she did, I think, was Sister to Sister. She, You know, she went on this little campaign to try to fix her reputation, talking about Bravo um, ruining her reputation, and they not portraying her right. But I'm like, okay, I understand editing. We get that. But what comes, the words come out of your mouth, and I just keep, I seen an episode again when she was popping off on um, Candy Friend today, and I was just like, this shit is coming out your mouth. This shit can't be edited. So, the shit you saying about Todd and the shit you saying about um, Carmen and all that kind of shit. Ain't nobody believing you that you want to fix some shit with your daughter. No. You mad at your daughter. Um, I didn't like that conversation with her and Candy in the salon because it still felt like she was trying to make Candy be on her side talking about, I feel like you put a dagger in my heart and I felt betrayed and... You picking the, um, him over me. And I'm like, you if you raised her right, why are you worried? 
Okay, she made some bad decisions, but I don't think Candy is going to make that kind of bad decision with Todd. I've never seen anything that just seemed creepy with Todd besides what Wendy Williams said. So, is that what you're going off, Mama Joyce? Because other than that, i never seen nothing fishy. Out of all the dudes, I don't see something fishy when it comes to Todd. You never see him trying to take him away, her away from the girls. He let her have her own life, so I don't get it. Um... What else happened? Chuck asked Nene and Phaedra to go speak at the Boys and Cl Girls Club of Anthens because he felt like all of them are from Anthens, that they can say something and give back or whatever. So they all agreed to that. Um, if I don't go in order, it's just I'm trying to remember what happened because all I really want to talk about is Chuck. So I'm trying to think. Um... When Peter and, I mean, Cynthia and Mal went to the agency to look at the agency or whatever, and, you know, they looking at it, and I think they brought up, Peter bought a new car or whatever. Peter comes in, um, he finds out that Mal is staying with him. Peter's reaction was just like, my, like, what the fuck is she staying? This is some bullshit. Why y'all just gonna spring this shit up on me now? That's typical, I would have thought Peter's reaction was gonna be. So, she brings up, like, well, you don't tell her that you bought a car. He was like, that ain't your business. And it's not. Stay in your lane, bro. Like, told y'all I don't like her. Um, and Cynthia, once again, standing there like a fucking scared-ass chicken. Just like I was watching the, the, the last episode when it came to Nene and her. And I was like, Nene's not judging her. This bitch is trying to make it seem like it's about her. And Nene was talking about girls and little girls and boys in general. And people was going off on Nene. I don't get that. It's just like because Cynthia's scary as fuck. So she don't have no backbone. So people feel like people are picking on her. No. You're, you're just scary as shit. You don't have no backbone with your husband. You don't have a backbone with your sister. You don't have a backbone with Nene. You just, you, you're an older Portia to me. You just want to look pretty. Because all up here ain't there. I, I just don't get it. Um, speaking of dumbass Portia. Oh, because Peter walked out. He laughed at that shit like this is some bullshit. Um, speaking of her, she ended up telling her mama she's moving out. They go doggy shopping or whatever. She punk her mama into paying for the shit. And I was just like, girl, you knew you was broken. You just didn't want to show on camera you didn't have no money. I don't know. Maybe because you spent them on them damn shoes. So now you can't dress and feed your dog. I don't know. Um, so, anyway, she tells her mom she's 32. So it's time for her to move out. Her mom is like, no, why? Girl, this is why she act the way she act. This is why she acts so airheaded and not her age. Because of the shit her mama is allowing. Um, but yeah, she talking about how she moving. So she end up moving. Her family end up coming to help her move. Um, she tells them she spoke to Cordell. And to me, she was a little excited that she finally talked to Cordell. And when she didn't get the reaction she wanted from her parents, I mean, her mama and then her sister and them, then it was, oh, he want to control me, and I'm not going back to that, and oh, we got a trial coming up, and we're going to see who get what, and I'm sitting there like, girl, shut up, because if he would have said, look, now, this is not, I think what he said in this conversation, this, I could be wrong, but I think in this conversation, Cordell was just like, when we got married, this is not what I signed up for. You want this glamorous being on TV life. That he don't want that. Um, you can come back home if you leave the real housewives of Atlanta alone. She like, oh no, don't want that. I want to be famous. So now they divorce is over. I really get that from her. I felt like you signed up to be this housewife, and now that you Bravo and came to you and you want this fame. Now, you don't want the role that you signed up for. I understand marriages, you evolve and you want more out of your, your marriage. But when you get married, that's why you're supposed to find out exactly who plays what role in the marriage. So, it won't be no confrontation. Then you won't have five or six other bitches in your ear telling you you need to be your own woman. When they don't know what the fuck was going on up in your household. I just don't give Portia all of this. Oh, I'm the victim type of shit. I really don't give her that. I think Portia wanted fame, and she got fame, and she lost her husband because of it. I really believe that. Um, Let's move on to the end of this, because I really can care less about everything. Anything probably end up happening. Um, 
They go to the Boys and Girls Club, Nene, Phaedra, and um, Chuck. They go to the Boys and Girls Club. They talk to the Boys and Girls. They play basketball. They make shots. Um, they have fun with the little Boys and Girls. Give them nice speeches. That was really cool. I thought that was really cool of Phaedra and Nene of doing that. I was surprised Nene took off them little batons and put her feet on the ground. You know her. Um, but hey, they had fun. I, I really liked it and respected that of giving back to the community. I do respect that. So they on their way home and Chuck was all they friend. Chuck was all cool with them. The big homie, as he say, he was real cool with Phaedra and when he got what he got from Phaedra. He got what he got. He let her speak to the boys and girls. Now it's all of a sudden time to go in and bring up the shit that his wife has said to him. He was like, oh, I got... Y'all, after the Savannah trip, I get back home. Y'all get back home, and Mo is mad at me because, Phaedra, you said that we dated. Phaedra was like, hold up. I didn't bring that up. Your wife brought that up. I told her that it wasn't nothing, but she made it seem like it was something. He was like, well, you said that we dated in high school, and we didn't date. I just basically, but this is basically what he was saying. He just smashed her. Um, it wasn't like that. You knew I was an up-and-coming person, a bit like a football star. You was trying to get on, so then I was fucking with you, so, you know, you can get on, you can have your come up. That's what I got from him. Um, then he bring up Candy and basically say Candy was fucking everybody else. He, um, fed her dreams. The mama and the aunties was cooking for him. Um, he was just a really, she was just a notch on his belt. That's basically, he was just being an asshole. Basic asshole. And I'm like, Nene, why did you bring these people on here? Did you bring them on here to show their true colors? Did you bring them on here so you don't look like the bad person this season and let them put on somebody, let the heat be put on somebody else? I don't know. Money, what did you sign up to, to this shit for? Because Nene ain't, I don't give a fuck, Nene goes off about being a good friend, and I've never, I've not seen her be a good friend to nobody yet. Not Cynthia, she not a good friend to, she wanted Cynthia to be her little puppy dog, she wasn't a good friend to Kim, because Kim didn't roll with the, what she wanted to go. She wasn't a good friend to the girls that was on, um, her I Dream of Nene shit. So, now she going at Portia about being a friend. And I'm like, Nene, you're not a fucking friend. First of all, you wasn't a friend to Marlo. You brought Marlo. Well, you didn't bring Marlo in here, but you knew bringing Marlo on the trip, what was going to do, you was going to bring the heat up off yourself. So, I don't know. I just didn't. It was crazy to me. Um, But y'all tell me what y'all thought about this episode. I thought Chuck was a major asshole. Mama Joyce needs some fucking medication. Portia need to grow the fuck up. And Cynthia need a backbone. Candy, I just feel sorry for her because I just be like, your mama is just weird and you need to put her in her place. I'm just saying. Um, so, like I said, it's all over the place. Probably didn't get everything. My bad, I don't have my notes. Like I said, my damn shit just didn't work right. Um, so, my review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 6, Episode 10. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Google Plus, I do everything by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Make sure you check out my girl, Ashley Miller. I hope she feel better. She was not able to, she said she wasn't going to be able to record tonight. So, I hope she feel better. I understand you, boo-boo, because I went through the same little cough and craziness, you know, right, at, was it right before Christmas, after Christmas, during Christmas, New Year's, all that, that shit lasted a minute. So, um, and I still kind of got a cough. So, Baby, I'm praying for you. I hope you feel better. Um, make sure you check out my cousin, Mike B. 801. Um, he don't do a Real Housewife, but he do everybody else. And I think he, he's going to do Thicker Than Water finale tonight. So, check, um, be looking for him. Check out Scotty from Mr. Still Standing. Um, check out my girl, Nate Bessa. I, I love her channel. She's so real. I love her channel. So, make sure you check out her. Tasha C., thank you for always sharing and subscribing and sharing and all that liking and commenting and all that kind of stuff thanks girl for all the support um all right then peace out you guys